There's no arguing the world has changed dramatically since the Illinois primary two weeks ago. But what hasn't changed are concerns some voters have about why their ballots were tossed into the reject pile. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov takes a look at what went wrong. They took that away, which is essentially my right to vote. Frustration and fallout from some Chicago voters after finding out their mail-in ballots were rejected when they thought they'd done everything right. Well, my concern is that my vote didn't get counted. Danny Samo is referring to this letter he got this week from the Board of Elections, telling him his ballot was postmarked March 18th, one day too late to be counted. Except he insists he mailed his ballot about a week before the March 17th primary. So did his wife. We mailed them at the same time, in the same box, and hers was postmarked a week after mine. Hers doesn't count either. This is a post office issue. I mean, totally a post office issue. Sandra Whetstone's issue a bit different. She got this Board of Election letter late Tuesday, March 31st, telling her there was a problem with her signature. Her deadline to appeal by noon on March 31st. How else was I supposed to, given the letter is dated, you know, 10 days before um, the deadline, and then I received the letter the day of the deadline. Then she noticed something else. Her letter from the Board of Elections is dated March 21st, but the postmark on the envelope is March 25th. So she called. And she said, darn, I wish they hadn't sent these letters out so late. There are a lot of people out here that are voting by mail the same way that I did. And so how many other people did this happen to? Chicago Board of Elections spokesperson Jim Allen says there were 117,118 mail-in ballots for the March 17th primary. Of those, 8,622 were rejected, about 7%, which he calls typical. Allen says it's disappointing any time your ballot is rejected, but we did not see any pattern or part of the city adversely affected by mail delivery. Allen also defends the board's handling of all ballots, but Whetstone and Samo now have serious concerns moving forward. And we're into uh, everybody having to vote by mail in November is a really critical election, then how much more of this will take place? Yes, this election was important, but November is big time. We reached out to the United States Post Office this morning to ask if there were any particular problems with ballot delivery either before or after the primary. We were told that the post office would get back to us. Several hours later, we're still waiting. Outside the Chicago Board of Elections, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.